Welcome back to a new vlog. I'm gonna do a sort of weekend in my life video where I'm just gonna do whatever I do. I have nothing particular planned. Um, I just take you along with me, just doing the usual stuff. I mean, I like to watch people on YouTube just going about their daily life, gonna go get groceries, doing the washing. It really calms me uh, just watching someone else it just, I don't know, it kind of makes you relax and forget about what you're doing. So I have just done a morning of work. It's 12.30 and, ooh, I'm being contacted. Um, and I'm gonna go for a cute little walk with my friend who lives behind me, which is awesome. And the weather is okay. It's blue skies, cute clouds, cute fluffy clouds. And it's supposed to be raining this weekend. So I'm gonna try getting a walk before you know, it gets wet again. It is July, it's the 2nd of July today. Best month of the year. Uh, it definitely doesn't feel like July. It feels like the beginning of autumn, which I'm not gonna complain about because autumn's my favorite, but yeah, it's not really living up to the hype. So I'm gonna go for a walk, um, do some more work. And then this afternoon I have a golf lesson with Andy, which would be so cute. I haven't played golf in, I worked out, it was 10 years. I have not picked up a golf club in 10 years. So this is gonna be interesting. I don't know if I'm gonna film it or not. It depends sort of what the teacher's like, but yeah, hopefully gonna do that um, after work and then just a free weekend. And I'll take you along with me, so enjoy. <laughs> Okay, so I am back from the walk, done a bit more work. Uh, it is quarter to five, so I'm just getting ready to put on my third outfit today because the first outfit, well, I didn't realize how hot it was outside. I thought it was about 15 degrees, but it was actually about 22. <laughs> Let me just put you down. It was actually about 22 degrees, so it was really warm. And now I'm going to a golf lesson with Andy. I'm so excited. I used to have lessons with my brother when I was younger. So, no idea how it's gonna turn out, but that's what I'm gonna wear. So just, it's basically like a tennis outfit, but white sports bra. Um, this is a tennis skirt. This was sold out like crazy last year because it was, this, I've, I've had this for years, but, um, it was like a huge thing from influencers, like everyone was wearing them, which was kind of random. But this is basically a skirt, um, which is very helpful. And then I've got a, I think this is an actual golf top. So this was given to me by my friend Anna because she didn't use it anymore and now it's come in handy. So it is just a like a dry fit top. It's kind of like this very thin waffle material. And um, I'm just gonna wear some like trainers. Here we go. I know it's not as flattering, but I think on golf courses they don't like really obvious logos. So I'm going to keep this untucked for now, depending on the other ladies and gents who are there. Just kind of get a gist of what they're wearing. But this Nike symbol is very, very subtle. So this is my little outfit. I'm going to obviously cover up the squirtle <laughs> socks and wear some shoes. And then hopefully it will be warm enough not to wear a jumper. So I've just got to do a bit more work and then leave in about 15 minutes.
was really good. We're very shiny because it is humid. It's only like 20, actually it's 22 degrees. Uh, 20, what's that, 24 degrees and it's... It's 24, but it's, it's sat still under okay, the tree. Okay, about 22 degrees and it's half six, so for the UK. I was literally saying, I think earlier in my vlog, I don't remember, that um, it was really cold, but anyways, so we have finished. We had a great time, learned loads of new things. My first shot was absolutely hilarious, uh, but the guy was really nice and I've got some footage which we can look back on in however many months time, see how rubbish we were. Um, that was great. But we, yeah, no, we were, I think we were okay. It's not, yeah, I was really happy with uh, what we did. Oh, the traffic here. Oh, no, it's not that bad. So we're going to go to Sainsbury's now, pick up some dinner because we are hungry and then just chill. <laughs> Double chocolate and strawberry. Never have you seen this one before? I've never seen that one before. Very excited. I'm watching Andy Murray. So what I'm gonna do is sign off and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning. It is a 11. <laughs> it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock. We're in the car. It's kind of started raining, but this might end up in our favour because we want to go to pick your own. And sorry for the stabilization of the camera it's, we're on, it's a bit jumpy um and so maybe people might look outside and think mm, i'm just gonna give it a miss but i think it opened about an hour ago so we'll see but we're just gonna drive it's like the next town along from us and if it's super busy then we'll just go another time yeah. just keep it easy so fingers crossed
we are home. It didn't take us very long to fill two strawberry punnets. Um, it was so fun, it was so cute, so many little families there. Uh, it was only around the corner, so it is about 12 o'clock now, probably out for like an hour max. Um, I have a lot of strawberries, so I'm gonna definitely make a smoothie and maybe tonight I'll make like a little strawberry cocktail of some sort, don't know. But now I have neglected my house for quite a while, so I'm gonna do a big clean. I need to do the front garden. I need to weed it because it's looking horrendous. I need to hoover. I need to wipe down, like, not wipe down, dust, wipe down the surfaces. I need to anti back the kitchen. I need to do a few washes and then I might give you a little update on the garden because there's been some exciting progress with some of the things that I planted back in March and April. So yeah, I'm gonna get going on that now. Bit of sassy chores so I can fully enjoy myself later. I think I'm gonna go get sushi and he's out watching the football so I'm by myself. But he doesn't agree with sushi so I never have it so I'm just gonna treat myself and then watch the football so we shall see is it coming home i don't know be very happy because the mow is going on. Hi! How's it going? Hello little one. Oh look at this, look at the chin scratches. So just had leftover stir fry for <laughs> Jazzy and Josh's um, England flags in the corner of my vlog um, and done lots of cleaning and he's done the hoovering throughout the garden. There he is, ready to go. I thought I would show you my pumpkins, which have gone out of control. Right, so let me tell you, there were three plants that were just in this tiny bit and I did not know how much pumpkins grow. They've overlapped here. They're sneaking down here as well. And these are the flowers, which eventually turn into pumpkins. I'm a little bit worried because there's some black bits on them, but we'll see. And essentially they flower out and then they're gonna turn into pumpkins, I'm hoping. So I've got one, two there. <laughs> Hello, little boy. Can do some, some lawn mowing. Aww, look at his family picture. <laughs> bloop, bloop. Anyway, so one, two, three, four, and then I've got a mini, a few thingies there. Little, what they're called, like, oh, you know, pre pumpkins. <laughs> You're probably screaming at the camera just saying what it is. And this one, I reckon tomorrow morning is gonna bloom. It's insane. They are as big as, I mean, this is, that's my hand. They are absolutely huge and they're very spiky. This one especially is really big, but they, I don't know, like underneath, don't, ignore the fluffiness, that's basically slug pellets and it reacts with the rain. But I mean, I've got some yellowness on here I'm a little bit worried about, but we're currently half, can you see there's quite a few under here. One, one, two, wait, two, three, four, there's loads, I, I think I counted about 15. You've got all of these down here. And look, can you see the tiny, tiny ones on there as well? They're in the armpit of each branch and they're really thick. I mean, look how big they are. That is absolutely, look at that. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to leave that there. And then the back of my 
you know, um, pit is where Carlos usually sleeps, but not today. Oh, um, and I think I. Oh, what's he? What's he doing? Is he jumping up there? Woo! Making noises. He did it. Yeah. Good job. These I planted these lettuce seeds and I planted them evenly, but I think because of the way that the rain falls and this wasn't a bit of an angle, they all came together. So these are so soft and lovely. So I'm going to just tear these, take these apart and separate them and put them in the back of my patch because this is just like insane. And I've got some spring onions just there growing through, which is really nice. Um, one lone potato just there and a Cosmo seed which is a flower right there all right there they are I've done one two three four five six seven uh, about 13 lettuces and the rest are in there my second big project is can anyone guess what these are they are bell pepper plants I just ripped open an orange bell pepper and I use the seeds, but there are quite a few of them. So I'm just, I'm quite far actually. And being in the conservatory, it is like a greenhouse. I don't actually have a greenhouse. Here's another one that's looking really good and using the like guide, which is good. I need to water them. And I have even more. Am I gonna get any bell peppers? Probably not. I might have to wait until next year for like a second crop. I've tried to learn as much as I can on YouTube, but they seem to be quite a finickety plant, so I'm not sure about this one. But essentially, I'm more worried about the pumpkins because it's such a long slog and it's not like lettuce or radish where you can kind of do every six weeks. I planted them back in March, April time, March I think it was, and I'm only halfway there. So they're starting to flower and then hopefully bees will pollinate the flowers and they'll turn into pumpkins. But that, I think I've got the hardest bit coming up as well. And these are from seed too. So I really like will be so upset if I don't get one of the one of them out of 15. I have always wanted to grow my own pumpkin. Last year I failed, and so I'm halfway there now, and hopefully out of like the, however many I, pumpkins, 15. I managed to get one, but it has to be a full pumpkin. I'm not saying like a huge, you know, massive pumpkin, but it has to be fully orange, kind of like a full term pumpkin for it to count. So this gardening stuff is hard. It's, it's hard work. It feels amazing when you do it. So good for your mental health, but when it goes wrong, oh my God, it's so annoying. I mean, I didn't show you, but my roses this year have done really badly because I kept them in pots. I thought I was moving, so I thought I'll be wise, keep them in pots to transfer them. But I was wrong. And also they got just destroyed by aphids, even though I tried to spritz them off. But you know what? Sometimes it just doesn't go your way. But to be honest, I've got some really good things coming through. So just through the window, you can see my hydrangeas are coming back for a second year, which is really nice. Got some really lovely little buds there. And I think I'm gonna get purple this year. Last year they were blue, but it depends on your soil. And then what I thought was doing terribly um, is actually doing so well. It's got a few buds. Actually, I'm going to take you outside. I have a few buds on there. I have just watered it. So um, this honestly looked completely dead. I just didn't realise that it was just dormant and it has completely come alive. It was really sporadic. So I had one bit going out left, one bit going out right. So I had to force it into shape whilst it was still um, developing leaves. And now it just looks unbelievable. And so when every single one of these branches, I mean, you can kind of see, you've got one down there, two like relatively big ones here, and then you've got two tiny ones. I mean, when each branch has enough of these on them. It's going to look absolutely incredible and I cannot wait. Okay. So it started to rain and I'm going to do the front garden and the weeding tomorrow. I think I'm just going to relax. I'm absolutely, sorry, I'm absolutely knackered. Really sore from golf yesterday, actually. I did do a good old stretch, but I am sore. And I think I'm going to sort out, I mean, I've got so many, I've got one, two, three, four plants of strawberries. I think I'm gonna make a little smoothie now and maybe strain some strawberries for cocktails later. Um, and yeah, just 
Have a nice noon. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Wow, it feels like really much later. Yeah. Andy's leaving me. We're going to the range with the boys. The range? Oh, Are you? Yeah, the one I'm working on. Oh. So you then... play golf and then watch football. Well, football's not until for another four hours, five hours. Yeah. Yeah. How exciting. So yeah, now I think it's just time to chill. So I will catch you later. Strawberry mixed with just ice, bit of cranberry juice. Mm. It is half past seven. I've just ordered my sushi, so I'm gonna go get it. Um, and then I'm just gonna quickly jump to mum and dad's, get the microphone, which is what I need to do a few voiceovers for vlogs. And then I'm gonna go to my grandma's house, my nanny, my uncle and auntie are there as well, and we're all gonna watch the football. My nanny is a huge football fan. So, I mean, anyone is when their country is playing, but yeah, I need to go because it's gonna be ready in 15 minutes and it takes me about 15 to drive. So I will see you at my parents' house. I just got my order and I am so excited. I've not had sushi in so long. So let's unpack. I've got a little miso soup which is annoying it comes in this but it's takeaway what can you do i've got a avocado just plain maki roll because there's only one of me and i have a few got a soy sauce and like a chili um like kimchi and then for the main event oh my god this is a uh Volcano roll, so it's like a California style roll with salmon and like this hot spicy sauce on top and it is amazing. I am so excited to dig in. Oh, look at this. Look at that stunning, oh yes. Oh, here we go. Mm -hmm, mm. Mm. Okay, so I've had my sushi and I've picked up the microphone from Charlie. So I am now going to go around to Nanny's and watch the football. I'm so scared, but we'll see. I see. I feel like we seem to get this far and then stop. So for reference sake, I'm pretty sure this is the quarterfinals if I'm looking, watching this back. But yeah, so fingers crossed. So I've just got back from my Nanny's and you can probably tell from my mood we won four nil <laughs> we didn't need four goals we just needed two probably um hello sweetheart hello um i'm just gonna take my makeup off i'm using if anyone cares the emma hardy moringa cleansing balm which is amazing is it moringa yeah moringa nearly finished it actually so i need to get some more it's basically a Oh, it smells like a spa. What is it? It's like a balm in the name and it's just oopsie. Even though I have quite oily skin, it doesn't set off the oiliness and you just rub it in and it melts all of your makeup and it's so nice. I'm not wearing much makeup to be honest. I'm only wearing a little bit on my face and then a tiny bit on my eyes. But essentially, we beat Ukraine 4-0. Therefore, we are through to the semi-finals, which is very exciting. Um, Andy has tickets to the match on Wednesday and he's going with a friend, which would be so good. And so it's one of those matches that we don't really want to be alone for. So I am going to go back to my nanny's on Wednesday, this Wednesday, and my auntie's going to do a meal for us and we're going to watch it all together. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited. So I'm just going to take all of this off and get ready for bed and I think I might watch a little bit of Real Housewives of New York in bed with Carlos. It's his favourite programme, isn't it? <laughs> um, and then, yeah, get some sleep. Have you done your skincare? Have you done your skincare? 
Oh, look at that little bent paw. He always puts his tail in between his feet. It's quite funny. Come on then, are we going to go to bed? Good boy. I'm with my ladies, <laughs> Real Housewives of New York, season eight, The Reunion, which is like one of the best ones. Um, I have just had Carlos and got my fan on because it's quite warm. Sorry, this lighting again is so bad. So yeah, I'm gonna sign off for the evening. Tomorrow, just gonna do some really chill stuff. Um, relaxing, yeah. Might be raining, but I'm not sure, so I'll see you tomorrow. Sunday, I'm just sat on the sofa relaxing and um, watching the Real Housewives of New York. I had a really nice breakfast, and Andy's gonna come home really soon after his night out with the boys watching the football. So, I was going to do a little bit of weeding out the front garden, but it keeps intermittently raining and uh, quite heavy. Not if it was spitting, I'd probably just go outside. But I don't really want to get caught on it, so I think I might leave that job for after work if it's sunny or next weekend. We've done quite a lot this weekend in terms of cleaning and sorting the garden. I don't usually do that much. It does take a few weeks sometimes. But so, I mean, there's nothing really else to film. So I'm going to leave you guys here. I really hope you enjoyed this little snippet into what I do on a weekend. I'd say it's a pretty good representation of, of what I get up to, a bit of a mix. Didn't really go out this weekend, um, but I've got a few things coming up. And it's, oh, it's July, it's my birthday month, which is really exciting. Um, but I'm, I'm at the end of July, so I'll do a little vlog for that too. But I'm really getting into picking up the camera. I do have a camera on the way, which I'm so excited about. Uh, so I can't wait for that to get here. And hopefully it will just help with the quality and like the stabilization, which is a big issue that I notice when I'm editing. Hopefully it doesn't bug you out too much when you're watching this. But I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you just like to see a little bit of what I get up to, what Andy and I do, a bit of Carlos, of course. And um, yeah, I will see you in my next vlog. Mm -hmm.